Today, we're going to install a Gardena Smart Robotic Lawnmower, the Salino City. First, we're going to start with the box itself and what you get inside the box. To start with, all Gardena lawnmowers will come with a user manual and then a quick start guide for easy setup and installation. You will also get a smart gateway, USB cable and a charger. This will plug directly into your internet router so the lawnmower can be true smart and wireless. You will have a roll of boundary wire and a pack of stickers that go with the boundary wire so you can mark left and right and guide wire. And also it comes with two rulers, one in centimetres and one in inches, so you, can, so you can measure how far the boundary wire and the guide wire is from the edges of the lawn. You receive two bags of pegs, which you peg down the boundary wire and the guide wire with. A pack of connectors. A docking station where the robotic lawnmower goes back to charge, as well as the cables for the power, and obviously the robotic lawnmower itself. The other things you'll need are three simple tools, a rubber mallet or a hammer for pegging down the pegs for the boundary wire, a pair of snippers for snipping the boundary wire to the right length, and a pair of pliers for connecting the wire together. Once you have your robotic lawnmower at home and you have all the pieces that you require in the box, the next thing you need to do is go out in the garden and just draw a quick sketch of your garden itself. Mark out where there's any potential areas the robotic lawnmower needs to go around. For instance, swings, trampolines, pot plants or troughs. Once you've drawn a sketch of your garden and you're happy with the area itself, then you need to position the charging station or the base station. Pick a spot which is within close vicinity to an outdoor power socket and is also level. Get a spirit level to make sure it's in a level position. The base station, the charging station, needs to be, needs to have two meters of space in front of it free and needs to have a 30 centimeter gap to the left of the charging station and to the right of the center of the charging station. Next, you need to plug in your plug to your outdoor power socket. First of all, grab the longer cable that goes directly into the charging station and the shorter plug cable. Plug these together. Grab the plug, plug it into your outdoor power socket and away you go. Once you have plugged your plug into the outdoor power socket, take the other end of the cable and plug it directly into the charging station where it says power. At this point, now is the time to get your robotic lawnmower and position it directly into the back of the charging station so it can start charging for installation. Next, we need to install our boundary and our guide wire for the robotic lawnmower. The boundary wire goes around the edge of your lawn and defines the area where the robotic lawnmower needs to cut your grass. Once the robotic lawnmower reaches the edge of your lawn and the boundary wire, it will turn around and it will then continue to cut grass somewhere else. As well as the boundary wire, you also need a guide wire. The guide wire is the route back for the robotic lawnmower so it can go back to its charging station. The guide wire itself can also be used in tight passages where you want to guide the robotic lawnmower into certain areas of your garden. Once you're ready to lay your boundary wire, go back to your charging station, get your boundary wire and make sure you have at least 50 centimetres spare. And then you would also need your two rulers that come with your robotic lawnmower. When laying down your boundary wire, Use your ruler and make sure when you're laying your boundary wire close to a wall that it is no less than 35 centimetres away. When you're laying your boundary wire next to a pathway or flower bed, 
that is no less than 30 centimetres away. If it is any less than this, the robotic lawnmower may get stuck. When you've got grass beside paving, the boundary wire needs to be no less than 10 centimetres from the edge. When you've got paving stones, stepping stones in the middle of your lawn, the robotic lawnmower can just cut the grass and run over those continuously. Now that we're laying the boundary wire, the first thing we need to do is to connect the boundary wire to the back of the charging station. Inside your robotic lawnmower box, you will get these little purple connectors. Simply grab your pliers, a purple connector, and fix it down to your boundary wire. You then need to decide if this boundary wire is going to the left or going to the right of the charging station. This one here is going to the left and we will plug it directly in to the socket with the L above it. It firmly is plugged in and we will then grab one of these stickers here marked AL for left and stick it to the boundary wire. This then identifies this is going to the left of the charging station. Now that we are laying the boundary wire, we need to use the pegs provided and every 70 centimetres we need to peg down the boundary wire. At the moment the boundary wire is visible in the lawn but within one month to two months the boundary wire would have disappeared as the grass would have knitted in between it. Now that you are laying the boundary wire we need to go around an obstacle. Lay your boundary wire down towards the obstacle but do not knock the pegs all the way into the ground as we will need that for the wire that comes back around the obstacle. Once you've laid your wire all the way around the obstacle, when you get to the end, grab the other piece of wire, peg both bits of wire together, but make sure the wire does not cross. Otherwise the robotic lawnmower will get confused and follow it all the way back to the edge of your lawn. While laying the boundary wire, you will also need to mark out where you're gonna lay the guide wire. So the guide wire will determine where the robotic lawnmower follows to go back into its charging station. So it needs to be at a relatively central point in the lawn. To do this, to mark this out, we will connect the wires later. Simply grab your guide wire and make a loop and use your rubber mallet and peg it into the lawn. And we'll come back to it later to connect it up. Now that we've laid the boundary wire all the way around the lawn, we now need to connect the right hand side. So once again, grab one of your purple connectors, your pliers, squeeze together till you hear the click, get the connector and insert it into the connection with the R above it for the right hand side. Again, feel the click, grab the sticker, AR, and that then identifies that that wire is the right hand wire and stick that to the boundary wire. You now have your left hand side connected up and your right hand side connected up. Now what we need to do is connect the guide wire to the charging station. We now need to lay the guide wire. The purpose of the guide wire is so the robotic lawnmower can find its way back home to its charging station. If your lawn is on a slope, it's best to lay the guide wire diagonally. And if you have hard to reach areas, lay the guide wire in those hard to reach areas so it's easier for the robotic lawnmower to find its way home to the charging station. The first step of laying the guide wire is as we have done with the boundary wire to the left and the right, we need to connect the purple connector. So we cut a fresh piece of wire, we use the pliers, and we squeeze down the connector until we hear the click. Once we hear the click, we then simply push the connector into the middle socket and again, feel the click. The key is with the guide wire, it needs to run out straight a minimum of two meters from the front of the charging station. Now that we've placed the guide wire into the charging station, we now get the sticker and we stick it onto the guide wire itself. So the guide wire is coming all the way out from the charging station, all the way to the boundary wire that we put down previously. If you remember previously, we left a, a loop in the boundary wire. Now we need to connect the guide wire 
and the boundary wire together. We lift the peg up that we did that we put down previously when we made the loop. We cut the guide wire that is coming out from the charging station, and then we also cut the boundary wire. We then get this connector that comes in the pack in the box. We put all three wires in the connector together in the three holes. We get a pair of pliers and we squeeze the blue part of the connector until you see gel come out the top. Those three connectors are now sealed. And then all we then do is peg all three wires down and everything is now all connected. Now that you have connected the boundary wire and the guide wire together, when you look back at the charging station, a green light will glow. That green light means that it now has a full loop signal and everything is now fully connected. The next thing you need to do is you will get four pegs inside the robotic lawnmower box and you just need to peg down the charging station itself. Also in the pack, you will be provided with an Allen key which screws in those four pegs. Once the four pegs are screwed in and the charging station is sturdy, you can then get the robotic lawnmower and push it onto the charging unit. Now that the robotic lawnmower is fully installed, the next thing you need to do is change the settings on the keypad. Simply open the hatch and follow the simple instructions that are given on the keypad. You will need to set the date, the time, the country, and also set yourself a new four digit pin number. You will also need to set the cutting height of the lawnmower as well. It's always best to start at the highest possible level, so five, and then within a couple of days, reduce it down to the preferred cutting height of your lawn. Once you have done that, you can then set up the schedule, how often the lawnmower goes out, how many days it goes out and how long it goes out for. You can do it directly on the robotic lawnmower or you can do it via the Gardena Smart App. The final task, once your robotic lawnmower is fully calibrated and has started cutting your lawn, is to take the robotic lawnmower out of its charging station, place it a minimum of three meters along the guide wire and ask the robotic lawnmower to park. It should park successfully. Your Gardena robotic lawnmower is now fully installed. For more information on this and other Gardena products, please visit gardena.com forward slash UK.